Hey folks, quick tutorial going over how to get your webcam input into UE4. Um, so it ends up looking something like this. It's by no means perfect, a little bit janky, and does use some external software depending on what your webcam can do by itself. Um, but the effect is pretty fun, um, and you can do a few things with it. Uh, so let's jump in and have a look. Okay, so I've just made a blank project using 4.24. This does work on um, older versions as well. Uh, but if you want to eventually use the NDI plugin, which I'll go over in a bit, um, that only works with 4.24. That allows you to get um, inputs from various different video sources, other PCs on your network, that sort of thing. Um, so yeah, anyone should work just to get your webcam input. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to do is just go down here and grab media, media player. Uh, we want to create a texture asset. Um, we'll just call that default for now, it'll make both of these things. If you double click on that media player, uh, click on the little folder next to the output, and down, go down to video, it should pick up a webcam. There we go. And that looks pretty lag free, it's not bad. Um, it doesn't work with all cameras though, so it, I found even on, a, for example, on a laptop, um, this didn't show up. So I guess it does depend on what technology your, your webcam's using. Um, one of the ways around this though is using Snapcam, if you're not familiar with that. Um, so this is a bit of desktop software by the Snapchat people, which allows you to use uh, Snapchat filters with your webcam. Um, it's free and most of it is not useful, um, but it, Snapcam does work in here everywhere that I've tested it. So if you fire up Snapcam and then in your camera, I'll have to restart Snapcam because Unreal was using the input. Um, but it gets around the problem of your webcam not working. So the webcam goes into Snap Camera and then Snap Camera does work with Unreal, no problem. Um, so you can see here I'm using Snapcam. Now this is important, this is the URL of your Snapcam or you can just use your plain old webcam. So I'm just gonna grab that. Um, so this doesn't by default play when you uh, play the game. So if I just grab a, grab a cube for the moment, um, I'll just right click and make this texture into a material. Just drag that on the cube for now. Um, so if I jump back into my media player and open up snap camera again, you should see that that's playing in, make sure real time is on if you wanna see it being played in the viewport real time. Um, but yeah, that works. Apart from when you play the game, it will be black. Uh, so we need to, in Blueprint, open up this uh, this media player. Um, so a couple of tutorials I looked at didn't level Blueprint. You can do that, but I'm just going to do it in an actual Blueprint class. Uh, so that you can use it multiple levels. So I'm just going to drag that in. Go into Edit Blueprint. drag that up there. Now we need to basically do the same thing that we did manually. So we're going to need a media player variable. Media player. Uh, and then we can pick one. We're going to pick the one that's in our in our content browser. Uh, obviously rename these. Uh, and we're going to do open URL on that media player. And I've still got the one paste from earlier. So if you haven't got that paste, go into here, grab your video, snap camera, and just copy that, paste it in there. Do that on begin play, get rid of those other ones. And let's give that a test, there we go. So it's opening it straight away and playing it in game. So that's super simple. Uh, how to get your webcam into UE4. Uh, that works perfectly fine. You can also set up some chroma keying stuff. So obviously if you've got a green screen in, in behind yourself in the real world, then that helps a lot. Um, and there's a few nodes in UE4 that can do that for you. Um, I don't have a green screen, so I've been using a Snapchat filter. So there's one that works really well called Green Screen by Matt F. Uh, there's a few green screens if you search for search for lenses. 
search for green screen, there's a ton of results. Um, I found that one works well. There was a Reddit post where the user posted it up. Um, and the idea of it was it would work well with OBS and he recommends some um, some settings for it. I'll post that in the description if anyone wants to try that out. Um, and you can favorite it and then you can turn that on um, and that will automatically try to detect your background um, and then just stick green everywhere else. The only problem with that, not really a big problem, uh, but it does use a bunch of CPU. So about 20% of my CPU goes on that. Um, so not ideal and there are better methods, but this one is free uh, and easy. So now if we play the game, we've now got our green chroma keyed self coming in. Um, and as I said, there's a few tutorials out there on how to chroma key in Unreal. There is a uh, chroma key node, uh, which allows you to put in the color and then it gives you an opacity out. Um, you can give that a go. One of the easiest ways I've found of doing this though is if we set our material to be masked um, and then literally just grab the green channel, plug that into opacity mask, because this isn't a true green screen and Snap Camera is already making this true green, like every single one of these pixels is exactly the same color. There's no lighting issues or anything going on. Um, that does actually work pretty well, just out of the box. Um, so I'll just apply that. And all it needs inverting. So you can do a one minus on that and you'll be able to see the, uh, the input if we turn on our live nodes and apply. There we go, there's my face. And there we go. So as I said, it's not ideal. You can play around with the lighting and the setup to get it looking a little bit better. Uh, but for a five minute job, it's not too bad. Um, and you can play around with you know, any of these other settings or try out some other chroma keying techniques. That is super, super simple method. Uh, cool, so that is about it for the webcam side of things. So something else that um, I've been doing is getting uh, video streams in here as well. Uh, so for example, let me just hop over to another project. Okay, so this is one of the other things uh, that I've been playing around with, which is using the NDI streams, uh, getting them into Unreal. So it looks something like this. This is obviously for a uh, Microsoft Teams meeting, but what it's actually doing is just capturing uh, my other monitor. Um, and then I've got um, a material that just cuts that up into pieces and puts them on textures. Um, but essentially this is, this is just an image from the Microsoft website. This is actually my desktop um, just here. Um, and you can also stream and you know anything from any other uh, PCs on your network, which is super cool. Um, allows you to do lots of stuff. Um, so to do that, it's a little bit more complex, um, but you can grab the NDI um, plugin and the NDI tools from the website. Uh, let me find those right now. So to install the NDI stuff, uh, the first thing you want to do is grab the NDI tools, which is on their website. And just give that a download. Uh, when that installs, that will install a uh, scan converter, which you can run. Search for scan converter. Um, and essentially, any graphics inputs, it will start to stream out as a NDI source. So we've got here, it's running in the background and it's capturing both of my monitor outputs. Um, and we can monitor what it's seeing by using Studio Monitor, which is another tool that it installs. If you search for Studio Monitor, um, and that will show you up here on the left the two inputs. So that's screen one, which is going to give me a Hall of Mirrors effect. Um, and then also my second screen, uh, which is just OBS recording me at the moment. Um, but essentially these streams, as long as you can get them to show up in here, they're going to show up inside Unreal. Um, you can also run these tools on other devices on your network. So if you've got another laptop, you can get those running and then you can pull the feeds into Unreal from those as well. Uh, which is really cool. So to set these up in Unreal, um, if you search for UE4 plugin, there's a bunch of plugins on GitHub and stuff. You actually want um, a link that's a little bit further down. Uh, or if you just go to the NDO Tools website and go to SDK, it's right at the bottom on the right hand side, which is the NDI uh, SDK for Unreal Engine 4.24. Uh, if you download that, it does involve you signing your life away. 
um, but they'll give you an example project which has uh, the plugin already built and installed and a few example maps with example blueprint which already has this stuff working uh, which is exactly what we want uh, what I ended up doing is just copying those so if I just find my project folder do, 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 do. Um, you can copy the plugins folder into your own project which is what I've done here um, and I actually copied over the content from that project as well uh, so in my Unreal project I've got all the NDI examples I can reference back to without having to swap between projects. Um, it comes with four different maps and that do different things. So one will show you how to get all the network sources on your on your network. Uh, one shows you how to input that source um, or broadcast what you're seeing as a source or broadcast what you're capturing as a source. It's this one that we want though where we want to view something that's already being shown. You can go into that map, which is what I've already got open here, um, and it might not work by default. This uses a custom controller. If you go into the Blueprints folder and into Controllers, uh, these correspond to the different maps. So we're in the Simple Input, and if we take a look at that one, I've made some additions here to make this work with two different sources. Um, but essentially it's got components called receivers. Um, and these link out to a media source. You can think of this as almost like a render texture. Um, and essentially you go through, uh, you can copy all of this blueprint, um, it finds a stream on the network and this is done by name. So if we go back to that studio monitor, uh, that gives you the name of the device on the network followed by the input. So you need to basically type all of that out, um, plug it in there. This was receiving something else from my laptop. Um, and it will connect that all up and then receive a texture and then you can go grab that texture uh, turn it into a material and you can just use that as a as an input source um, so what I've turned this into is if I just yeah it's pretty messy for me just playing around with it um, but I've actually got the two inputs going in uh, let's have a look at my custom controller actually it's a little bit more organized do, 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 do. so I've got the two streams coming in down here and then two components um, so I can pull in two things at once. Um, the other example map is the network sources, which I think I've possibly broken on this example, um, or, I've, or I've adapted it. So it pulls up sources on your network and then you can just copy and paste the names uh, and get previews of them as well. It doesn't do all of that stuff by default, but it does list all of the um, names of things on your network so you don't have to type them out. Uh, but if you can get it to that step then you can very easily take that um, take that video source and do interesting things with it just been playing around with this for things like live interviews um, but yeah essentially you can stream all of that stuff back into Unreal and then stream it back out again uh, so one of the ways you can stream this back out again is with OBS um, I am recording at the moment but it should still work if you go into tools uh, you can install a plugin called Virtual Cam if you just Google OBS Virtual Cam. Um, this will install a virtual webcam, um, and then whatever it's capturing down here, if I just do start, uh, that will then show up in any other. So if you're in Discord or Teams or whatever, uh, you can then select OBS Camera as your output, and that will show up as a virtual webcam, and you can present whatever you're doing here um, as a webcam. So yeah, using a few different tools. Can be a little bit hacky. If you find any better ways of doing any of this stuff, then please let me know. It'll be awesome to hear about. Cool. Hopefully that helps.